Communities everywhere. The rural Australian town of Colac is waging war against fast food and physical inactivity. But here, an experiment in community empowerment is bearing fruit in the fight against childhood obesity and producing results of global significance. We went complete cold turkey with our withdrawal of the canteen menu that we had. We went totally healthy, so chicken nuggets and lollies and chips all went away and we went healthy. Um, the immediate effect was the canteen almost went broke. The uh, compromise that our school council entered into was that we would have Friday as pie day. So profits went back up and it sustained the canteen. The campaign, called Be Active, Eat Well, is about building a community's capacity to change its children's behaviour. One way to do it is to try to get the whole community to change so that the norms change. What's normally expected within a lunchbox, what's normally expected in a school canteen, what's what you normally expected to do after school. Changing those norms is the way to shift individuals' behaviours, I think. One of the many strategies of the campaign was to train up new coaches for after-school activities. Not only were children being exposed to another sport, but were also creating coaches that could sustain soccer in another way. You tried to get a walking bus happening here. What happened? It failed. While participation in after-school activities exploded in Colac, the idea of organised groups walking to and from school couldn't compete with the car. Our community wasn't prepared to let their children walk. They were firmly ingrained, I guess, in being able to drive their children and pick up their children on a daily basis. Despite the setbacks, a controlled evaluation has shown positive results, published recently in the International Journal of Obesity. We compared the Colac children over three years to similar children in the same region and the children in Colac ended up gaining about one kilogram less in weight and about three centimetres less around the waist. Boyd Swinburne runs a WHO collaborating centre for obesity prevention and is the senior author on the published evaluation. At a population level, this is very significant. At a clinical level, one kilogram is not much, but spread across the whole population, this is very important. Most significantly, this small Australian town appears to have achieved a world first, an obesity prevention strategy that reduces health inequality instead of increasing it. What we found was that the children in Colac, there was no relationship between any of our measures of socioeconomic status and weight gain. Whereas in the comparison children, we found what we would expect, which is that the kids from the more disadvantaged households, lower income households, gained more weight. And so if this type of intervention can reduce the social inequalities, then that's fantastic. It's doing two things, reducing obesity and the inequalities. The difference with Be Active, Eat Well was that it involved the community in the design and the implementation and it had a very strong emphasis on peer education and support in that whole process. So it was very much done with the community. The back streets of Colac are home to some of Australia's most disadvantaged families. But it was the involvement of these families in actually designing the campaign which is seen as a key factor in its success. Information went via workers into homes. We went into people's homes and talked to them about how we wanted to work with them to develop a program that would meet their needs and benefit their kids. One of those kids was nine-year-old Naomi Clark. I never used to like fruit, but my mum told me if you bring fruit, you'll get healthier and you'll live longer. And if you bring fruit for fruit break, it's better for you instead of eating so much junk food or stuff. 